Hey guys, I want to tell you a story about a guy named Landon Gilkey. He was a professor of theology at the University of Chicago's Divinity School for many years. Afterwards, he retired and started lecturing at schools near me, where I live here in the D.C. area, got places like Georgetown and UVA. And Well, before he entered his life as a professor, he moved to China in the year of the 1940, where he became an English teacher. He left for China as a secular humanist, having left his childhood faith, not believing in sin or anything the Bible said in those regards, but believed that we are the solution to our own problems. But if you know your history, in 1940, the Japanese invaded China and sent all foreigners to internment camps, Gilkey included. And in this internment camp where he had to share uh, 20 toilets with over 2,000 people living in close quarters with people where people were hungry and miserable and sick, he began to see how selfish people are, how evil we are at the core of who we are as human beings, he began to believe in sin again. He said it didn't matter if, if you were a secular humanist, as an atheist, or you were a Christian missionary. Everybody had their reasons for being selfish, for being grumpy, for being prideful. He said there was one exception, though. There was a guy named Eric, who he describes as a guy who had won a gold medal in the 1924 Olympics. He describes Eric this way. He says, often in an evening, I would see him bent over a chessboard or a model boat, or directing some sort of square dance, absorbed, weary, and interested, pouring all of himself into this effort to capture the imagination of these pent-up youths. He was overflowing with good humor and love for life, and with enthusiasm and charm. It is rare indeed if a person has the good fortune to meet a saint, but he came as close to it as anyone I have ever known. And if you've ever seen the movie Chariots of Fire, you know who Eric is. His name was Eric Little, a guy who everyone said, God's created you to run. And he said, no, that's not my purpose. That's not my calling. My calling is China to help people there trust and follow Jesus. And so after the Olympic Games, he went to China as a missionary. He ends up in this internment camp there with Gilkey and he actually has a brain tumor nobody knows about it. He doesn't even know about it. He's sick, and yet he says, my circumstances, this darkness that I live in, these difficult circumstances, can't zap the joy, can't keep me from doing what God has called me to do, to be light in this darkness, to be enthusiastic, not on a, because of his own strength, but because of the power of the Holy Spirit that was living inside of him that couldn't help but get outside of him. Unfortunately, he didn't make it out of the camp. He died at the age of 43 from that brain tumor, and Gilkey describes his death this way. The entire camp, especially its youth, was stunned for days. He says, so great was the vacuum that Eric's death had left. And why was everybody so disappointed? Because they realized they had they lost someone special, someone who didn't wake up every morning and say, everything's great, everything's grand. So glad to be here, he said. I got to allow the Holy Spirit to give me power to get through this day. And because he did, the Holy Spirit showed up and showed off. And I don't know about you, but maybe you are tired. And you're discouraged because of the circumstances that you face today. And maybe your work environment is negative. Maybe you're dealing with some sickness. And maybe you're looking for some hope. You're looking for some joy. You're looking some, for some enthusiasm in your life. Well, realize it's not going to come. By you focusing on your comfort, but by focusing on your calling. Doing what God has called you to do, which is to help other people trust and follow Jesus. Because in those moments, when we get outside of our comfort zone, when we learn to share our grace story and what God's done in our lives with other people, that's when the Holy Spirit shows up and shows off. And helps us be enthusiastic, not because of our own strength, but because of His.